G'day nerds. So this lesson, we're going to look at how we explain something scientifically. Now, a scientific explanation is different to a scientific argument and so on. Um, so this is the final points on how to do it. And we'll have an example in there as we're going through. All right. So this is your vocabulary. If I could just get you to pause the video and write this down, you'll have something to refer back to as we move through the lesson. So a scientific explanation is essentially a cause and effect explanation. It's pretty straightforward, right? We go cause, effect, and in the middle we put the mechanism of what happens. So the cause is what causes the change, the effect is what happens, and the mechanism are the steps within your model, within your specific explanatory model that are happening. So all the systems that are in place there. And we'll have a look at an example in a second. So this is from the Wonder of Science. Now they um, put out these cards, and this is, I think, a good little um, sort of rubric if you're looking at, is my explanation any good? Um, did I identify a scientific cause? Have I identified the components of the system? Um, and from that, have I used um, connections between the components to explain and describe and predict what's happening? And the others are mechanisms you've used within that system like um, have you represented the components mathematically have you used computational thinking so if this then that so if this thing happens then that um, so we have a cause that is the first step so what is the initial claim or cause of the phenomena being explained uh, we have the mechanism uh, what happens and why does it happen or how does it happen? So how and why they go in there together and the effect. What is the impact or the change because of these mechanisms? Now, um, if we go back here, I would always, so we'll have a question that we're trying to explain, right? Explanandum is the thing you're trying to explain. And that's usually the, the effect. And that's what I'd write first. So we're going to give you an example in a minute. That's actually the bit I'd write first, following up with um, cause and then the mechanism to explain it. So when planning it out, that's how I would do it. All right. So natural selection leads to different phenotypes in an environment. Now, remember the difference there between an argument and explanation is that with an argument, you're looking at something with, that is with, with doubt, like there's doubt involved, um, and you're using data points to back up your... Um, data points to back up your your argument for this is why it's true whereas with an explanation we're using something which is not in doubt which is why we've chosen natural selection and evolution the most not in doubt topic in all of biology so natural selection leads to different phenotypes in an environment so different physical characteristics between in it within a species in an environment all right so let's have a look um First, we want to use our cause and effect. Again, natural selection leads to different phenotypes in an environment. Might be worth writing that down. Um, all right. So here's a good little guide for us to look at. If you, um, this is from Amy and Jeremy Peacock. And if you um, look up cause and effect uh, graphic organizer, this is the one that pops up. And it, and it works. It's just fine. So you'll notice here that I've put the numbers in the orders which I would fill this out. So I would have the ph phenomenon describing, in this case, um, natural selection leading to um, phenotypic changes in an environment, in an, e in an ecosystem. The cause, I would describe the cause of that, and then the mechanism. And that's the order. So uh, the phenotypic makeup of a population changes over time. That's the effect. The cause for that is that natural selection benefits favorable mutations slash phenotypic expressions in a population. All right, so I've now got the cause and the effect, but I'm explaining it, so I need more. That would be a description at best, but I'm explaining it, so I need more than that. So then we write our explanatory sentences. Um, there are more offspring that are going to survive into the next generation. Mutations will lead to variation amongst the offspring. More favorable or fit mutations are more likely to survive and reproduce, or sorry, produce, viable offspring for the next generation. Then the phenotypic makeup of the population changes over time. So what you'll notice is that this actually fits within the teal paragraph or peel paragraph format as well. Topic sentence, um, evidence explanation, um, linking sentence. Um, 
and this here is just our, our model. So what I've done before I've written it out is I've built a model. I stole it from somewhere. I built a model of how evolution works or natural selection works. And then I have explained it in here. Um, so yeah. So I hope that made a lot of sense. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye now.